Um, but the problem is they slow down the LP a little bit. Second probably shouldn't sit so close to the screen. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday, right? Yes, Wednesday. It's hard to keep my day straight. I've spent most of my, I want to say morning, but it's actually afternoon. For the last four hours, I've been editing um, the Minecraft map that we uh, recorded the other day. Interesting thing. Um, if you are editing one video track, you know, if you're just editing uh, one camera angle of a Minecraft map. It's not that difficult. I usually do uh, a pass and then a quick pass on something that is, you know, one one camera angle. But when we do Minecraft, we end up doing two camera angles because we switch between mouse view and my view and sometimes we split it down the, the middle. And it's amazing how much time that adds to editing because the map itself, like the total project, is only about 90 minutes. But I've been editing it for four hours and it's so taxing. Like, it's like, it's really weighing on my brain. But multicam editing is really, really sweet. And if you've never seen it before, I wanted to show you. Um, this is an option in Final Cut Pro 10. It was also in 7, and I think other uh, major NLEs have it as well. But basically, you set up which video and audio, if you want, um, you want to be able to switch from and you make a special multicam track. That's this track and this contains three different tracks. It contains my screen, it contains Mal's screen, and then it, uh, it contains another special video track I made that is a split. Essentially it contains these. Here's Mal's screen, this is my screen, and then this is one that I have split. So this has got all of those in it. So when you're playing the project, like you just hit play, and uh, we played about a minute of the, of the as it's playing. If you want to change the, the camera so angle, minutes. all you gotta do is now, click, because of the minute we played, we and then it changes. Really and uh, actually, I probably should have showed you this before I made all my cuts, because then it would make more sense. But um, basically, you know, right now it's showing my screen, but if at this point in time I wanted it to show Mouse's screen, I could just click, and it makes the cut. And whenever I'm done, you're left with, you know, we've probably got several hundred cuts throughout the thing, but I don't have to do any of that like manually. I'm just clicking on what I want to see. And then I can go back now, which is what I'm doing, and fine tune it. I love it. I've used multicam in Final Cut Pro 7, and I've also used it a few times in 10. I think the most recent time I used it was uh, The Tourist, which was the other Minecraft map, which was like last November. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of work filming multiple camera angles, but it's also a lot of fun. Multicam makes it uh, really easy to use, and uh, I don't know, it's just fun. It took many many hours, but the entire Minecraft series is done. It was five episodes and uh, only 90 minutes total, but it took seriously like forever <laughs> to do it. Anyway, Matt was home now. And uh, Mal did something special at school today. Oh, well, yesterday. Oh. But you're just bringing it home today. Yeah, they had to cool. You gotta explain what this is, because no okay. one's gonna get this. So, this is a bottle from Ikea. Yeah. And it was a bottle. Mm -hmm. Do we actually have one? Let me check the fridge. This was this, like, yeah. 48 hours ago. Hmm. And you melted it. Yep. After we drank the lovely sparkling pear juice, I washed it out and took off the labels and cleaned it real good. And then I brought it to school and melted it in my ceramic kiln. Hmm. And people do this for art yeah. stuff. It's kitschy, but mm -hmm. it's not art with a capital A. <laughs> like some people use it like as a spoon rest. Mm -hmm. And some people like hang it on the wall. Yeah. But I gotta sand this one because of the, the pieces of glass I use to keep it from rolling. They're sharp. But the more important one is this one. Yeah, this one. And what is this? This one was a champagne bottle for my dad's wedding last year. Yeah, whenever and we so, whenever we left the wedding, Mao actually took a bottle. I took three. I have two more. Yeah. Yeah, and we've held on to them for an entire year. So, and it was all for this purpose. Yes. Hmm. You and finally got try. around to it. Well, I'm not. It's already a cheese tray, but I'm gonna like get a little cheese knife and mm -hmm. then decorate the handle and decorate the handle of the cheese knife. 
and they'll have a lovely little cheese plate because they like to serve up cheese nicely. And it's a special bottle from their wedding. They're going to love that. They're absolutely going to love it. Yeah. Anyway, so th that was pretty much our days. I worked on that and I edited video, which I do every day. Um, but tonight is a fun night because we got a coupon. <clears throat> big deal. Big important deal to me. Half off your entire order at Domino's.com. Minimum purchase of $12. Carry out or delivery. Must order online. 50% off everything. Everything. Everything you order. Let's have a party. It's practically a buffet. Open them up so we can show what we got. Um, yeah, this is what me and my dad are having. It's sliced Italian sausage, ham, bacon, chicken, black olives, and mushrooms, I believe. And it looks like there's pineapple on there. Or maybe it's just one. Oh, yeah, there's one random <laughs> pineapple. Pineapple probably would have been all right. Ooh, look at ours. Uh, what is it? Spinach, feta, mushroom, green, peppers. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, is that it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks really good. And then in here, these, uh, you can't really see them, but these are wings, which I apparently got the sauce off of them, which was dumb. <laughs> that was a mistake. They're supposed to have sauce on them. And then uh, this is cinna sticks. And also, this is stuffed cheesy bread, and it's stuffed with um, feta and spinach. And we got it all for half off because they're running that promotion. And they're actually running another promotion starting tomorrow for the next three days where everything you order is 35% off. So, obviously today, in the last two days, was the time to do this because you got 50% off. And it all looks awesome. And I'm very, very hungry. This was a good deal. The pizza was awesome. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Domino's. And while there is better pizza out there, especially when Mao makes a homemade pizza, for the price, especially tonight, I think it's pretty good. People have their their favorites. Some people like Domino's, some people like Pizza Hut, some people like Papa John's. I like all of them, but um, I think Domino's is probably the top. Although Papa John's is up to two. I like Papa John's. Though to be fair, if I'm going to buy a pizza and not make it, Mellow Mushroom or a local place, uh, Geno's here is, you know, phenomenal. Uh, anyway, the best part about this is that there are leftovers for tomorrow. And the days are long. I'm out working full time. The days are long. The good news is I'm getting a lot of work done, which is really exciting. Getting ahead in LPs, I actually looked at my LP list and, and how I've been progressing on stuff. Feeling good. Tomorrow I start recording this, and I'm pretty excited to record it. Uh, I mean, I'm excited to play it, to be honest. Um, I've wanted to play this ever since they started releasing information about the game. It looked really, really interesting. and. Um, I knew that uh, probably one of the best ways to get myself to actually take the time to play it would be to record it. Also, I needed some content to buffer between now and the time I <laughs> am able to get Eco out, so it works out really well. Uh, anyway, one week remaining till PAX. One week. A week from tomorrow, we will be flying to Seattle. Um, we're actually going to get there really early. We're going to be there very, very early, so I think we get in like the exact same time as Dan too, so most most everyone's getting in early. Um, there will be information probably out before this video of the meetup, so I don't know why I even mentioned it because it's going to have to come out before this video comes out, but it's on my mind, so I'm, I'm spitting it out while I'm thinking about it. All right, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? You have to go through this uh, mansion and you have to get pieces from people you street pass with in order to unlock different uh, parts of the map. Yo, Counselor Movan, you won't get crunk! Good old Geldis is always managing to keep our spirits up. And our eyesight hazy. Thank you.